If you haven't done so already, please change your video viewer to full screen mode for best results. Welcome to the introductory tutorial for the Visual 3D Terrain Editor, which allows you to build vast and detailed landscapes starting out from a simple piece of flat land. What you are seeing now is a short preview of the Lizard Rock Island which was created from scratch using this toolset with just a few hours of work. Now we will walk you through the first seven minutes of sculpting for the Lizard Rock demo scene, which is being played back at two times the normal speed. Starting with only a single piece of flat land, we use the raise brush to elevate the terrain to above sea level. The raise brush is very useful for quickly creating the rough initial shape of your terrain and to establish the location of your hills, peaks, and valleys. Notice the quick, convenient camera motions which allow you to pivot the camera around your point of interest to attain the optimal view angle and distance for editing. Next, we use the flatten brush to create the flat play areas where our characters can walk around. When you press the left mouse button, the flatten brush will begin to level the ground at the initial altitude of the brush center point. Using a soft, weak flatten brush often produces a natural transition between a steep slope and a flattened play area. Most of the shape for the terrain can be achieved by a collaboration between the raised brush and the flattened brush. For Lizard Rock, we switch between the two brushes frequently as seems appropriate for the task at hand. If you watch carefully, you will see us fixing our mistakes instantly using the Control z key combination to undo our most recent edits. Notice how the frequent adjustments are made to the brush settings with almost no interruption. This is achieved using the hotkey shortcuts described in the first tutorial. Here, we are starting to carve out the path that will take our players from the front shore area to the other encounters located towards the back of the island. To create the front shore area, we set the flatten brush target height to 3 meters above sea level. This option for flatten brush allows us to target a defined altitude for situations such as this one. Notice how the flatten brush is being used to naturally extend the size of the front shore area. Again, notice how rapid short strokes using a low strength soft flatten brush produces a natural transition between various slopes and altitudes on this island. We find that short rapid strokes often produce the desired result as shown here. Notice how the flattened brush is being used to smudge the steep shorelines to create a natural looking decline with more interesting contours along the shore. We conclude this tutorial with the same short clip of the Lizard Rock sample terrain which was created from scratch using Visual 3D's terrain editor with just a few hours of work. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and have found it useful for the creation of your own outdoor environments.